This uh, heater absorbs a lot of solar radiation, which heats the air that circulates through these pipes and heats the house. This is a very cheap system, but unfortunately my calculations show that it covers only 20% of these heating needs of the house, because that uh, heater produces these kilowatt hours of heat. These calculations are consistent with the reports of the owners of the house, who say that this efficiency has such a value. We see that this heat from the solar heaters will be greater than this heat in needs only in April, but this heat production in the winter months covers only 9% of this heat in needs. This video will show you how to increase those shares to 100%, and therefore the house will be heated only by solar energy without any boilers or heat pumps. I will show you how to increase this efficiency by about 5 times, but we will also have to increase this uh, heater area by 3 times. That is why we will come to this situation, when this heat production of the solar heaters is more than this heating needs for each month. Complete solar heating of that house will have this construction cost, which will be comparable to the cost of traditional home heating with boilers or heat pumps. But the homeowner will save more than $500 annually on these car towers, which will be this free solar energy, not electricity or gas. In addition, the system will heat water for hot water supply for free, saving approximately another $500 annually. These pipes are shown here, and they must connect the solar heater to this large mass of gravel, and now I am showing how this hot air from the solar heater passes through the gravel and heats it up. This fan provides the air circulation through the pipes, similar to this other American house with these solar heaters. Their hot air is directed into this basement through this box with stones about 10 cm in size. Here we see thick pipes for that air circulation through the solar heater during sunny hours, and this air circulation thanks to this second fan, which heats the house because this cold air of the rooms is heated by the stones and returns to the rooms. This house is located near this big city, Philadelphia, and this is its climate for six months of its heating season. Here we see that the winter is sunny, and therefore the weight of this gravel is 23 tons, which will sometimes be heated to this level, and this is a reserve for heating the house for three or four cloudy days in a row, until the circulation reduces the gravel temperature to this level. This is one of the options for hot water supply, not only in winter, but also in the summer months, when we bypass this electric heater if the temperature of the gravel around this steel tank is constantly higher than 70 degrees Celsius. This type of solar heaters has many advantages, but unfortunately its efficiency is poor when heating the air above 40 degrees Celsius, while our gravel will have to be heated to such higher temperatures. That is why let's replace this type with another solar heater. For example, let's make our new solar heater from used aluminum cans that are assembled into pipes as shown in this my old video. These pipes must be connected in this way, so that the fan will direct the air along this path, and now I will show an experiment to measure the temperature of this air here at the outlet, and we will see that the black pipes heated the air to 69 degrees Celsius. In addition, the internet describes many examples of how those pipes can be made not only from aluminum cans, but also from such aluminum downspouts or such aluminum air ducts. My old videos often showed this experiment, where the solar heaters receive not only solar radiation directly from the sun, but also this additional radiation from these mirrors. Therefore, now we will see that those mirrors will radically increase the air temperature from the solar heaters above 100 degrees Celsius. This was shown in the my old video, where I spent a long time explaining reasons that increase the heating temperature and describing the increase in the thermal energy production of solar heaters up to three or four times thanks to such mirrors which lie on the ground. We should put the mirrors here at the beginning of December, and then we will gradually remove them in the second half of February, as described in this other video. That is why this winter months have a radical increase in this efficiency, unlike this month when the mirrors are not used. In addition, the efficiency depends on this average temperature of the air which is heated by solar radiation in the pipes of the solar heater. The length of the solar heater should be one and a half times longer, and here we should install the second solar heater. 
The internal diameter of these pipes should be 50 cm, and here we have to add a T-joint to divide the airflow between the two heaters, and here we need to install another T-joint. The pipes of the heaters can be installed horizontally, so that half of the pipes direct the air to this side, and then the air returns through the other half of the pipes. Unfortunately, the pipes with a diameter of less than 15 cm will have too much resistance to the air movement and therefore they require vertical placement. We use three fans, but thermostats can turn off one or two fans if the temperature difference between these pipes is less than 20 degrees. Thanks to this, the fans annually consume 150 kWh of electricity, which is approximately 20 times less than if the thermal energy for heating the house were produced by air source heat pumps.